That is bad from the 1400 meter marker. Canadian Bolt in the yellow is the early leader. Little Bristol is right there. Peacock Alley, the red cap, and Driven Force is near the rail. They are followed by Black Creek, and then comes Mr. Friends. There's about five lengths between those top five. Black Creek has now gone off that inside running rail. Races awkwardly. Tigers Bond near the rail. That's got the nose band. Then Bells of Parcel. That's in the blue. Then El Cordobe is racing about seven lengths off the leader at this stage. Then Wordbuster and Mystical Sons about 14 lengths off the leader as Peacock Alley takes them along a length and a half. Canadian Bolt perfectly placed in second and Black Creek in the blue is third. Driven forces at the rail, then comes Little Bristol, along the inside Tigers Bond. They are followed by Bells of Parcel, further back in the runners, Mr. Friends, as they turn for home. Peacock Alley, the leader, being stalked by Canadian Bolt. Driven forces towards the inside, and then Tigers Bond. Canadian Bolt's trying to get to Peacock Alley, who still finds. Peacock Alley, Canadian Bolt is on the outside, and Driven Force is running on. Peacock Alley still the leader. Canadian Bolt's now become a big threat on the outside. There's not much between the two. Peacock Alley and Canadian Bolt, Driven Force on the inside. Peacock Alley, Canadian Bolt, Driven Force, Driven Force got her. Driven Force got up, maybe Peacock Alley second and Canadian Ball third. Number seven, Driven Force, going to put its head down close home, and number seven, Driven Force will just win it. Second position, I think Peacock Alley will run second. That is number one. Third place to number six, the toad favorite, Canadian Balls. And the fourth position to Tigers Bond. So driven force, Dennis Dreyer, a quick double for Dennis. And further back in the run was Tigers Bond and then Little Bristol, followed by Bells of Parcel. We'll take a look at that head-on shortly. So it's a terrific struggle. And Peacock Alley from that wide draw continues to go. And then towards the left is Driven Force. And that's coming home well. Number 7 pays 740. And the two ran Peacock Alley is showing the 160. Canadian Bolt was racing in second when they turned for home. But Driven Force in the last jump will get up and will win that close decision. That's the running of the second race. Back to the studio. Well, Dennis Dreyer did briefly mention in his interview after his win in race number one that uh, all stables go through the hiccups, you hit the speed bumps. It's all about working uh, with the team back home to get everything back on track. And the signs are there loud and clear. Dennis, you must be over the moon. You're right, Dees. Now, listen, it's been a tough bloody month, month and a half, nearly two months. And you know, the worst sufferers are the owners. Yes. I mean, you know, we've had all this in past years and uh, it's the poor owners that pay all the bills every month and uh, they've got to ride the bloody waves with us. So I'm thrilled for the chaps in Mauritius, Sean and um, Brent and of course Michelle. You know, Michelle, he's their racing manager, helps me out with all the accounts and everything. And I said to him, listen, tell the boys to have a little each way, but I can't give them confidence. Mm. And let's just hope all the horses are turning. And uh, it definitely looks like it. And I said to Shawnee, listen, you know, with all the drama we've been having, he may just need it. Be very patient. I said, ride him to run a place. If he wins, it's a bonus. And I, I couldn't have expected a better ride. So to Sean and uh, everyone. All the boys, the grooms, Stewie, everyone in the yard. Looks like things have changed, turned, and again, well done to the Mauritians and Michelle. Dennis, your experience is priceless. What do you do tell the team? Let's just regroup, boys, put our head down, knuckle in. Yeah, well, you know, these, you don't just lie down when things like this happen. So, sure, so. Sure, you sure. know that famous saying, I'll be back. And I'll be back. I'll be back. Lovely. Well put. I'll be back gentleman that's firmly part of the team and knows all the drama that's happening in the background 
to get these horses here and see them run as poorly as they've been doing in some of their races is Sean Veal. But you're working for a boss that's been there, done that many, many times in his career. Yes, you know, these are uh, just well done to the team. Good team effort. I thought it was also needed today. And uh, getting back to the team, you know, that's why I ride for a guy like Mr. Dreyer. He, we have our arguments here and there, but uh, he's a pro professional to work for. If I was riding for any other yard, I would have been fired because the trainers don't have the balls to say that uh, it's the jockey. They always blame the jockey, but uh, in a yard like this, we went back, they did the homework, the horse was sick, and uh, I'm just grateful to be part of a team like this. And uh, I don't think it's the last of us. We, we were down for a month, but uh, I think things have turned. Now, coming into the final 400 metres, it looked like it's going to turn out to be a two-horse race, but you had uh, something to say about that. Yeah, you know, Dizzy, I said to them, if I had 10 more days, I would give the boys very, a lot of confidence because he's a nice horse and uh, he'll just keep getting better. He's just big baby still. Going through the 300, I thought I'd run third. Going through the 200, I said I'm going to get there and uh, he actually dug down the source and he won a good race. Just well done to the team again. Mr. Dreyer, Mr. Dreyer, well done to Mr. Dreyer for putting up with her husband. You know, it's, he's not an easy <laughs> man and uh, she's doing all of that. And to the owners, thank you very much for the opportunity. And to my wife and my little boys, you know, my, little, my, my small one was a little bit sick on Monday. Yes. Doctor gave him the wrong medication and... Uh, we thought we were going to have to rush him again to the hospital, but everything's bounced back strongly. So well done to my wife. She's doing a wonderful job, and uh, I'm just grateful. Before you leave us, uh, Sean, I briefly touched on uh, the runners to come at Mr. Dry and race number one. Any, anything you like, you fancy? These, you know, we're out there trying these. Whatever beats perfect here today will win the race. That's how confident I am. Thank you for that. Thank you. Lovely. Sean Veal, Dennis Dreyer, a double for the stable, 7 1, 6 and 11. Up next. Pick six time, race number three, 14-15, quarter past two.